Hey friend. So I wanted to share something that's been weighing on my heart lately. It's personal. I feel more vulnerable sharing or talking about this in comparison to the health and healing focus videos that I typically create on this channel. But I think that's a good thing. And I want to share because I believe it's it's something that you may be able to relate to. Uh, and I think in a way, and maybe indirectly, it's about healing anyway. So for what feels like a long time, I've been struggling with the idea of financial abundance, financial success. Now, the circumstances, the details, the context, I don't think they matter. They're neither here nor there for the purpose of this video. It's not meant to be a, a practical financial lesson by any means. What matters most is the beliefs, uh, the stories that I've been telling myself around financial success. So I've caught myself thinking, why can't I get this? Why can't I achieve the monetary goals that I've set for myself? I mean, I work hard. I think I'm intelligent. I have expertise. I feel that I'm genuine in terms of the service, you know, that I give to others, how I'm approaching the work that I do. So what's missing? And I've been tying my self-worth to this perceived failure feeling less than because I haven't reached a certain financial goal yet or a certain financial milestone that I've set for myself. And it's been tough, like tough in many aspects. Practically, you know, paying bills wise to, you know, mentally and emotionally as well. Now, recently I had a realization, a shift in perspective, a miracle as the Course in Miracles refers to it as. And the shift in perspective has begun to really change everything for me. And that's what I want to share with you. I realized that I've been making an error that perhaps a lot of us make in terms of equating money with true abundance. So I was making money bigger than myself, treating it as if it were the ultimate measure of my worth. In a way, I made money a sort of false god. And here's the ironic part, I think, in this, is that by doing so, I was actually pushing money away. Money couldn't come to me because I was giving it more importance than finding and understanding myself. I was making money more valuable than my true self, than the light coming through me. I was basically living a lie, dishonoring my soul. I see it as kind of like chasing your own shadow. The more you run after it, the more it eludes you. But when you stand still and face the light, your shadow falls behind you. I realized that I needed to stop chasing. Stop the energy of chasing and start embracing the light within me. The true abundance that's always been there and always will be there. I began to understand that the light and love flowing through me are what's real. They're the real sources of abundance. That there is a higher consciousness available to me, available to all of us. Something deeper than the hustle, deeper than motivation, deeper even than the endless goal setting what I am, what you are, is worth so much more than money. By constantly chasing money, I was contracting myself, limiting the frequency at which I was vibrating. It's kind of like trying to fit an ocean into a tiny cup of water. It just cannot be done, right? It's just not going to line up or align. My current frequency, my true self, is too expansive to be confined to the pursuit of money, to the chase of money. And I say that not from a place of ego, I say that from a place of higher truth. Everything that has ever come into my life come, 
came from within me, from source. Source is the source, right? Every dollar I've earned, every relationship that I've built. And by recognizing that, I saw that whenever I chase something, whenever I go after something external, I'm actually limiting myself. I'm ignoring the infinite abundance that's already here. The I am that I already am. So I decided to let go of that aspect of myself, to let go of the one who is chasing, to connect instead with the abundance that is my true nature, my birthright. And you know what the funny thing is? The things I started to need began to flow naturally to me. Things that I needed began to flow naturally to me. When money comes in now, I feel neutral about it. It's simply a match to the frequency that I'm already at. It's kind of like a radio station. You know, if you're tuned into the right frequency, you're going to get the music. The music will come in loud and clear. But if you're not tuned to the right frequency, you get static, right? There's no music there. So when I adjusted and aligned myself, the music was able to come through in the sense, you know, in this analogy to money. So by aligning with who I truly am, I tuned into the frequency of abundance. So I've learned that the things we chase often elude us because the very act of chasing implies they are running away. The very act of chasing implies that that thing that we are chasing, whatever that is, is running away. So for example, maybe a more obvious example is in relationships, right? When someone is overly needy or codependent, let's say, it could push the other person away right? Similarly, chasing money or any external validation for that matter can actually repel it, repel that which you are chasing. The real thing I, and perhaps you too, truly want is to know the truth of who I am, to transcend the limitations of time and space, to heal myself, and through that healing contribute positively to the world around me. I believe that planet Earth mirrors our inner state. And so as I heal, so does the Earth, right? So does that little corner of the world around me. I've also been working on allowing compassion and light for the parts of me that feel scared. Scared of abandonment, scared of unworthiness, scared of failure, scared of being seen. And by bringing these feelings to light, into the light, that part of me that was desperately chasing validation through money began to relax. And I was then be able to let that go. I believe that higher power, be it source, God, the universe, works through us. Call it God, like I said, the universe, whatever you like, but this higher power this force works vertically, flowing through us, empowering us to do everything that we need to do. So I asked for help. I asked higher power to help me to heal the lies that I'd been telling myself, that I was a failure, that I was unloved, unworthy. I took a deep breath in that moment and allowed forgiveness to wash over me. I connected with the present moment, letting it pull out that false version of myself, that mask that I had been wearing for so long. And in that space, in that space of letting go, it created a void, which then could be filled in with love and truth. So by reconnecting with the now, letting go, and creating that void and naturally allowed for love and truth to then come in. And you know what? When money or opportunities come in now, I don't feel desperate. I don't even feel overly excited. It's this sense of divine neutrality, like I said, because I know that they're simply matching the abundance that's already within me. 
the abundance of source. So I've come to I've come to see, I've come to claim that or maybe is a better way of putting it or decree that my top priority is kind of this act of spiraling upwards, maxing out my authenticity, maxing out my authenticity. And when I do that, when I align with who I truly am, everything else naturally falls into place. There's no need to chase because I recognize that I am already whole. I am already abundant. I am. So if you've been feeling the weight of chasing, chasing after money or any external validation for that matter, I invite you to to pause, to take a breath. Allow yourself to connect with the now, the present moment, and perhaps ask yourself, reflect on, am I willing to let go of that aspect of myself who is chasing, that part of me who is caught in that energy of chasing, that lower vibration, that state of lack? And if the answer is a yes, I propose that you do just that. Let go. Let go of that mask. Let go of that illusion. And allow the void created through that act of letting go to be filled with love and truth. Trust that you are enough just as you are. Remember, the light coming through you is true abundance. Money has never made you. You've made money. Okay? And when you stop making money or anything outside of yourself bigger than you yourself, you open the door for whatever it is that you want and desire to flow naturally into your life, naturally to you. Anyway, that's what I've got for today. Thank you for sharing this moment with me. I hope that my journey can offer some insight or comfort to you on your journey. Um, Let's continue spiraling upwards together and reminding each other in the case that we ever forget again all of the incredible abundance that resides within each one of us. So I'd love to hear from you. Please leave a comment down below letting me know if this topic, um, this message resonated with you or not. Sending you lots of love and light. Take care.